embracing hub life. No, of course you do love this one. Community-based support provides a lifeline for some of the more vulnerable Tasmanians. Now it could also prove a lifesaver, with three new defibrillators set to be installed in its social hubs. They're keen to go straight away. Very important for us with our vulnerable clients, both age and disability, that we have defibrillators in our premises. I think we need to be very well prepared for any situation of cardiac arrest or heart stoppage that, that may, um, may happen. I can't think of a better place for it to be situated than here with all of us. The machine's funded by a heartwarming donation from a local pharmacy. We see this as the start of a growing relationship. More devices are set to be purchased and will be registered so others in the area know they're nearby if needed. Ambulances, on the, when they're on the way, if you have access to it, it's going to save lives. CBS had to change the way it delivered support when COVID hit last year. And while it's now business as usual, measures are in place to ensure clients are cared for should the state again be forced into lockdown. We will roll out our pandemic plan, which includes that wellness support, um, social support and meal service delivery. I hope it doesn't happen, but we are prepared. Until then, these hubs will continue to bring the community together, now with a little added peace of mind. It gives you a bit more confidence in case you fall off your chair and somebody can, somebody can make sure you're all right. Hopefully it's you never can, needed. No, well hopefully not, but it's there if we do, so yeah, it's good. Sophie Corral, Win News. Enjoyed this Win News item? Like, tag or share with friends.